Hi, welcome to Wise Guys. This video is on re ratio and direct proportion. And it's pretty much uh, just an introduction to it. So when we're talking about direct proportion, a uh, direct proportion is an equation that states that two ratios are equal. And a ratio is simply a fraction. So here we have um, 5 divided by 7 equals 10 over 14. Now, um, we could look at it and say, well, are you sure that it actually equals one another? So when we look at this one, the, this fraction here, 10 divided by 14, what we can do is ask ourselves, what are they both divisible by? And we can see that both are divisible by 2. So if I divide this by 2, I end up with 5. And if I divide the 14 by 2, I end up with 7. So then this, in fact, does equal the 5 over the 7. And, and when we're talking about direct proportion, that's all we're saying, is that these two fractions equal one another. So if we have an unknown with regards to this, 5 over 7 equals something, over 14, and we're trying to solve for that piece, we can walk through the steps to solve for x, which in this case we know to be 10. Here's another um, direct proportion equation. Two ratios that equal one another. Some, and again, sometimes it's not really obvious right off the bat, but we can look at this and say, what are they both divisible by? And they're both divisible by 3. So if we divide this by 3, we end up with 4. And we divide this one by 3, we end up with 9. So there you go, 4 over 9. And again, we look at this one and we can see that the relationship is the same. If we can travel 45 kilometers in 1 liter, then we should be able to travel 90 kilometers on 2 liters. And again, this is just another proportion. So let's look at this question. A vehicle will 12, sorry, can't talk. <laughs> a vehicle will travel 200 kilometers on 15 liters of gasoline. How far will it travel on 90 liters of gasoline? So here we know we have 200 kilometers for 15 liters. We're wanting to know what happens if we have 90 liters of gasoline and we're trying to find the distance. Okay, so this is our question mark. What's the distance? How many kilometers would we travel? So when you set up your ratio and proportion, it has to make sense when you set it up. So we know that there's 200 kilometers for 15 liters. And when you set this side up, it should be kilometers over liters. So the same um, setup that's here should be on this side. Um, and the truth is, you can also set it up in a different way, but it just makes sense to set it up this way. Kilometers over liters, kilometers over liters. On this side, we know that we have 90 liters. And the unknown is the kilometers that we're going to travel in the 90 liters. So then here is your proportion. And we're solving for x. So here what we're going to do is multiply this side by the 90 liters. If we multiply here by 90 liters, we have to multiply on this side by 90 liters. Those two become 1. So then we're left with x equals 90 liters times 200 kilometers divided by 15 liters. Now liters divided by liters cancel, so they're gone. 90 divided by 15 is 6. So there's a 1, there's a 6. And now we have 6 times 200 kilometers, 
So then x equals 1,200 kilometers. And that's the distance that you would travel on 90 liters of gasoline. Okay, so here's another question. Here we have similar triangles, and they're also called congruent triangles. And in similar triangles, the angles are the same, and the uh, sides are proportional to one another because the angles are the same. So in this question, we're being asked for the length of A. We're told that side, oops, we're told that side B is 12.1 meters. We have side D, which is 4.5 meters. And we have side E, which is 5.7 meters. So this side with respect to this side of this triangle has to equal D, or the length of D, with respect to the length of E. So we can say A divided by B has to equal D divided by E. And what we're looking for is A. So at this point, we can just set up our equation A over B, which is 12.1 meters equals D, which is 4.5 meters, over E, which is 5.7. Now we want A by itself, so I'm going to multiply it by 12.1. And I multiply, since I multiply on the top here, I have to multiply in the numerator on this side. So 12.1 meters. 12.1 divided by 12.1 is 1, so these two are gone. So we're left with A equals 4.5 meters times 12.1 meters divided by 5.7. And we just go to the calculator. 4.5 times 12.1 divided by 5.7 equals 9.55, so 9.6. So A equals 9.6. We have two sig figs, three here, so we're going to go with two sig figs. And that would be our distance, and it would be 9.6 meters. I'm just checking my numbers to make sure I'm good. Yeah, we're all good. Okay, so and that solves that piece. So that has been brought to you by Wise Guys. I hope you have a really good day. Take care.